Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Michael Shee and Big Rob. There it is there. And Kim Jones over there hiding, but we're going to get her on <laughs> in a minute. We were just having a conversation about, um, first of all, Saturday night, we just left the gym, uh, beasting out, overtraining back, did week three. Uh, so if you got the program, you know what week three is all about. But anyway, we were just having a conversation about being comfortable with your off-season body for those who compete. And um, I know a lot of people are asking me, am I bulking and this, that, and the third? And I'm, I'm never really in a quote-unquote bulking phase. Um, I eat instinctually. I eat when I'm hungry. I eat when I feel I need fuel to do what I need to do throughout the days. Um, but right now, like honestly, in the winter time, <clears throat> most people quote unquote bulk. What I think more of it is is you know summertime we in tank tops we in shorts. Yeah. You want to look your best. I compete in the summer. Um, a lot of people compete in the summer. Um, in the winter time, people are just not that concerned with being shredded, like super shredded, like contest ready. So it, it could be considered off season, especially but, during the holidays too. You know, the holidays, holidays people want to eat. Yeah, you know, people just want to eat. People so, are human, We're right? Human out here. So yeah, I'm I'm bigger than uh, right now than my quote unquote on season, but not by a lot. Um, I'm just enjoying uh, a more variety of foods than what I would normally be eating. Uh, so you know, the holidays do do that to you, and you can see my face is a lot fuller. Um, you know, I just, I'm more solid. I feel strong, uh, but I feel strong when I'm shredded too. So it don't, that doesn't change anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Kim, why don't you chime in from a, let's get a Come woman's, on, get up, get a up. woman's perspective oh. who's a competitor as well. What's up folks? Everybody, this is Kim Jones. She, tell them your accolades cause they're quite impressive. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so I'm a strength and conditioning coach currently at El Camino college, which is a, Pretty good gig because it's a junior college and it's 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 rare at that level. So I got the I have the opportunity to get at get athletes on a Division One program. So when they transfer to the Division One level, they're ready. And then in regards to my my competition experience, I just finished my second year competing. Did uh, one regional show, three national shows, and I placed at my last two national shows. I got fourth at USA's and I got fourth at North Americans. So I'm going for that first place next year. And I'm currently in my off season, and I was just telling Rashid, it's, it's as a woman, I think it's tough to go from being super shredded, and then gradually losing your abs, and then losing your cuts, and then you know seeing your body get a little bit fuller. And I don't necessarily want to be competition ready year round, but it's still for me as a woman. I don't know if men deal with it, but it's just an uncomfortable phase for me right now. I think I'm about maybe ten to twelve pounds heavier than I was when I was competing without pulling water or anything. So, I mean, would you say that you're uncomfortable with how you feel now or are you okay with how you feel I now? I mean, I'm okay with it. I, I joke, you know, like in the gym today, I took my shirt off and I was like, oh, I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't want to show my abs, but I know I still got some abs, you know what I mean? But um, I feel good. Like I feel, you know, it's not like, Nobody over here is fat or stomach sticking out or anything like that. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's it's a lot of pressure trying to stay shredded. Yeah. I think especially in time. LA. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. 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 So, you know, you gotta sometimes you gotta let your hair down a little bit yeah. and enjoy life. Yeah, enjoy let your life. body recover. Um, let your body recover, absolutely. And um and one thing I was saying to Kim like <clears throat> earlier. A lot of people think that, you know, me being in this industry and, and other guys in, in my position, we like just super shredded, ripped up women. I honestly, I respect when women are shredded for, for shows. For, you know, that's I, I admire it. I love it. I love the, how it looks. But I am personally attracted to a fuller woman. Just naturally, instinctually, that's just what I'm attracted to. Because a lot of people, and I, you know, think, oh, you only like fitness models. You only like ripped girls. And I'm like, that's not true. That's you know com I mean? that, that feels good. That's comforting to mm -hmm. hear. Because sometimes I don't feel pressured, but I feel like I'm probably maybe more physically appealing to somebody mm -hmm. when I'm competition shape. But it's right. cool to know you, you know, guys appreciate yeah. I'm a, extra pounds. I'm a real guy. I'm a real guy. 
in touch with reality, you know. <laughs> and um, listen, I know girls, you know, I got a lot of friends that compete and I've heard some crazy stuff. You all will be surprised. Like, I've heard some crazy things. I know girls that won't go on dates with guys without taking a LASIK. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that they're, they're, they're so insecure about not being competition ready. And that's unrealistic. And it's not a healthy no. lifestyle to live. It's not healthy mentally, yeah, you know? And my thing is, like, I want to, like, with... One one of the things that we're really pushing with this movement is it's beyond like your body, your physique. Who cares? Like, yeah, everybody wanna look good. That's a given. That's fine. So you do what you gotta do to look good. But we wanna be healthy in every aspect, mentally, physically, spiritually. So it's like when you feel like, you know, I can't be out, I can't go out, I can't be seen. I need to drop water to go on a date. That's just, that's just bizarre to me. Yeah. And it's actually, it's not even like, it's saddening to me that some people in this fitness industry, health is not even a, a factor. In this, it's all aesthetics. Yeah. It's all about a look. And it's like, you know, you're really, you're potentially sacrificing your health, not for a shoot that you're getting paid for, not for a show, before a date, you know, and that's that's crazy to me. And you know, and it sounds funny, but it's not. It's sad. It's it, you know that a lot of people have, you know, this is just one friend that I know that said that. But I'm sure there's other people who feel yeah. like that, you know. And um, you know, we just got to be a little more, you know, we just got to be a little mentally healthy and just not, you know, Instagram. I've said it before. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook really have people heads messed up with uh, their body perception because you're seeing, and I know guys, I know guys I'm cool with and I know how they look right now, but all these pictures is like their greatest pictures from right around their shows. And I'm like, come on, bro, like show people reality. You know what I'm saying? And let's be real with people. We owe it to the people to be real with them. You're not walking around stupid shredded 24 seven because it's going to have people having complexes People thinking they're not good enough. People thinking they got to under pressure. Or they're not doing the right thing to stay right. that yeah. lean. Nobody's that lean all the time. You know what I mean? <coughs> Me personally, you know, I can get called for shoes at any given time. I'm never too far off to where I can't get nice and shredded in a week or two. You know what I mean? But I'm not walking around super shredded, sucked in every day. You know what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not, you know. Let me ask, do you guys have competition clothes? Like, I have jeans that last my first season, I can only wear when I was in season, and I couldn't wear off season. But the funny thing is, I put on a good amount of weight, a lot of muscle, mm -hmm. and I can still fit the jeans. And last year, I couldn't. So that, that kind of helps reassure me that I haven't completely fallen off. You know, right, right. It's a healthy amount of weight I've put on. But do, do guys do that too? Yeah. With, with me, is um, the yeah, waist right. part still fits, but the legs, the legs, the legs, just, the, the legs get real tight again. Yeah. So. That's that's something I go through when I'm off season. Cause uh, when I'm off season, the pants are just hanging off, you know. <laughs> it, it's crazy. But doing on season, I mean off season, I always it's a hard time fitting into my pants. My legs, it's always the hardest part. I can't find jeans that fit the legs, you know. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree with that. I don't have any on season or off season clothes, but um, I'm obsessed with training legs and like getting big legs, and I'm always growing out of jeans like. I, I wear a lot of chinos now and like just easy, relaxed fit jeans or pants because jeans, they're uncomfortable and I got to get a big waist because it won't fit on my, my ass and my legs, my waist <laughs> size. So it sucks, but you know, meat hair problems. But no, to answer your question, I don't have competition clothes. And plus when I'm around that time, I'm only in, you know, training Work clothes anywhere. I, I, I'm hardly ever in normal clothes, so. You know, sweats. yeah, I'm always in our uh, workout clothes, so yeah, but yeah, we just wanted to talk to y'all about that. Be comfortable yeah. your in your yeah. skin, yeah. be comfortable if you're not showing abs. Who cares? Abs are not that important. Abs do not mean that you're fit and healthy. You know, you can be you can starve yourself and have abs. <laughs> Homeless people have abs. <laughs> you know I mean? That doesn't mean that you're fit and you're healthy and you're strong. You know what I mean? 
abs look great, but be proud of your abs when you're, you know, at optimal health. You know, you're not doing crazy things to show your abs. And abs are not that important at the end of the day. This is important. You can you can go on a date or do whatever with this aesthetically pleasing person. And what do you do when they have nothing to talk about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like all they want to do is talk about their body. Well, you know, nah, that's not. Come I have on. some upstairs. You gotta have some <laughs> upstairs. So let's not put all the emphasis on your abs and your body and being ripped. You know what I mean? Let's be solid and strong people and balanced. good up here and balanced. Yeah. Cool. And looking good is just a plus. And you could look good off season. Kim looks amazing. You know what I mean? Thank so, you. And so are you, man. Uh, you, you know, I do. I do a little something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we try. Nah, we try. But um, but no, nah, that's it. Any last words, Kim? No, I think to the ladies, same rules apply. Just be comfortable. I mean, you can't completely blow up and put on like thirty pounds yeah. in the off season. It's got to be a healthy amount of weight. But just be okay with it. That's your time to relax. Because once you're in season, it's it's, it's strictly time, business, yeah. business. You know, so take mm -hmm. advantage, indulge a little bit. When you're in your off season, I got tired. What about yeah. you, Bob? Any last words? No more words for me. You know, I'm quiet. You want to take your hat off for the people? <laughs> hey, look, I got a haircut. <laughs> ah, hey, there you and, go. Hey, look, and it's growing back. It's growing back. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Um, yeah, it was a long night. We we you know just came back from the gym Saturday night. We're not at the club, not at the bar. You know, this is what we do. It's a lifestyle, and we back at it again tomorrow night. All right, much love, y'all. See y'all soon. Peace.